welcome and if you've been here before welcome back welcome back what's up what's up y'all i'm tired it is like 402 in the morning i got yet another 3 a.m wake up call and honestly i feel like after i said that i was not an a.m person all i have been granted is a.m trips i'm really trying to you know muster up the strength but i'm gonna be honest with y'all I never really sleep well on my very first day, like going into my first day of reserve because, you know, you're anxious for the 3 a.m. call. But maybe being based in Denver was like a silver lining because if I knew being based in Houston, I was going to be an unwanted a.m. -er. Yeah. No, ma'am. So I'm just sitting here like contemplating my life decisions because I'm excited that I get to go to work, but not excited that I have to do it this early in the morning and when you start an a.m trip like this baby it's an a.m i'm pretty sure my report time tomorrow is like 5 20 again and my report time on day three is five o'clock <sighs> may god grant me strength because when i tell y'all i'm tired i'm tired lucky for me we only have two legs today then we go Houston to Vegas and then Vegas to Sacramento. Get to go back to Sacramento. You know, I haven't been there since my very, very, very first trip. Um, you guys got to see that. And then on day two, tomorrow we overnight in Fresno. Never been there. But I'm going to be honest, we got five flights tomorrow. And that just gives me a headache just thinking about it. I'm rambling at this point. But it's because I'm sitting here instead of getting dressed for work. Knowing I have to leave in like 15 minutes. And I'm just sitting here talking to y'all, so. Yay, AM trips. Okay. This is the fit. Fit check. But honestly, y'all, my room is literally a disaster. And it's just going to be a disaster waiting for me once I get back. I'm going to slap on my, I don't even know what I'm saying. Slap on my badge, and then I'm going to the car with all my mini bags. Y'all, I'm at the airport. My eyes hurt. You know, when you're tired and your eyes hurt, yeah, that's how I feel. But let's just knock out these two legs, even though my first flight is literally like three hours. Why am I yelling? I don't know, but. Yo. And I'm hungry, and Dunkin' Donuts better be open. Because last time I was here this early in the morning, they was not open, and that's it. And I don't like that. So I need them to be open today. Maybe because it's the weekend, they'll be open. I don't know. I'm just, at this point, I just feel like I'm just talking. It's still, like, pitch black dark outside. Like, this should be illegal. Just kidding. It's not illegal. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. The thing is, I want to work. I just don't want to work this early. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I want to go to work. I like going to work. I enjoy my job very much. I just don't enjoy waking up at the butt crack of dawn. It's like, who did I piss off? Do y'all see all them people in the airport? Oh, little life update. My new shoes have still not arrived. I checked, they finally got shipped, but they're not supposed to be here until like the 18th. Like, yo, I need to try this out because I hope they help my feet. Hey, so we're on the plane. I did get Dunkin' Donuts breakfast, but the line was just like so long. Like, it was kind of ridiculous. But we're about to board. We are on an 800, the old one, so I do not get my own galley. Um, it's only two legs though. Um, my cruise seems really nice. That makes me excited. But y'all, I'm tired. Like, I'm tired. But I'm going to pull it together in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so really quick. We're about to start boarding for our next flight. But let me tell y'all. How the heck did I already get a run in my new stockings? Like, why do I have a run in them? I'm so upset. I bought them yesterday. And now, I got to hold them. So now I got to go back to the thick ones. So I guess, you know, the thin ones are just not for me. But you know, it was because of my ring. But let me go and do my job because we're about to board. Bye. Y'all, this is the run, but luckily when I stand up, my skirt covers it. So, but like, I'm so upset. Okay, so we just landed in Sacramento and now we're about to head to our hotel. We have like 19 hours here. So that's pretty exciting. And guess what? It's only 10 a.m. Everybody was pretty chill this these last two flights. So got to keep the positivity going because tomorrow, I don't know how positive I'm going to be. Hey, 
so we made it to Sacramento. We are now in our hotel room. You guys seen this before, but I will give you another hotel tour. We're actually about to go downstairs because we saw when we were driving in that there was like this food truck festival kind of thing going on. So we want to go check that out. Um, if you want to look at the run in my stocking, you see it? You see it? Yeah. So these are done. Like you're done. But uh, yeah, let's get to the hotel tour. I don't know why my camera looks so garbage right now. I'm so sorry for this poor quality. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's get on to our hotel tour. Okay. about to throw my uniform i just finished like laying my hair down and doing my quickest makeup look ever because i really don't have a lot of time because i just had to sleep to the bare minimum because it's early in the morning um all in all st louis was fun i had a good time with my crew we went to like this little food festival thing um where there was a lot of like black owned vendors which was really nice i bought a purse i did show you guys that purse it was in the bag it's like a snake skin like i don't know what to call it but I bought a purse um which i'm actually really excited about because i need more purses uh so yeah i'm gonna get dressed and then we can talk in a minute all right peeps this is a uniform fit for the day i absolutely love this skirt it's funny because a lot of people don't like this skirt but i feel like it fits me naturally really well without me having to get it like altered especially in the waist i definitely iron this shirt so i don't know why it looks like this it's given like a little sister from uh hunger games and she said tuck your tail baby duck or when little duck or whatever she called her um yeah sorry but yeah this is the fit my new shoes still haven't come yet so my feet will be dying in these because we had five likes today yes you heard it first here actually i probably told you this like 17 times already but yes we had five likes today i can't even tell you where we go first so it's gonna be a surprise when we get to the airport just kidding i really can't remember where we're going but I'll look once we get in the van, um, but yeah, so let's survive five legs. I got food last night once we got back from the pool, and y'all, these wings were not good. Like, they were not good wings. Um, the fries were delicious, but the wings were absolute not my thing. Like, they were, like, this big, and I'm like, where do we steal these from? Pigeons? Are these wings from the pigeons? All right, let me go downstairs because I'm wasting time at this point. <laughs> We are on the plane. We are flying on 700 all day today. We do have a plane swap in Vegas, um, which is our first stop. So I better stop and get like food. I think maybe I'm gonna try to grab like Subway or something, something that I can kind of keep cold for the rest of the day and like nibble on throughout the day because we, again, we got five flights if I had to. We landed in Vegas and we have to plane swap. So we are on our way from the sea gates to the big gates, which is quite the journey on your legs. And it's very packed in this Vegas airport. And I'm also trying to find a subway. So happy hunting. We have a couple minutes. 
minutes. I didn't find Subway, but I did stop at Jersey Mike's to get a sub. And it looks really delicious, so I'm about to dig in before we start boarding. Hey, so we landed in Burbank. The cool thing about Burbank is we do a dual deplaning, so we have to just get off in the front and the back of the aircraft. I'll uh, see if I can get a picture of the stairs for y'all. This scenery. It's so beautiful here and it's sunny, you know, I got a little glow going on. So let me show you the stairs. Hi. So we just landed in San Francisco. This is flight number four. So we finished three legs. And now we are about to start leg number four. We are currently in San Francisco. It's a beautiful day out. I'll give you, I'll show you what it looks like. But y'all, we're halfway done. But when I tell y'all the dogs are barking, we're frost, the dogs are barking. My feet hurt so bad. And I haven't worn my retainer in like a month. And I paid so much money for braces just to have my teeth shipped back. And I don't like it, so i put my retainer in, but now I'm gonna sound like I got a list. It's probably TMI, but I tell you everything. Anyway. So, yeah, we're in St. Fran. We left a little late, so it's literally like the quickest quick turn. The pilot asked me if I wanted anything, and I was like, can you give me a donut if you see like a donut shop? Like, I need something sweet to keep going on with the day. But, yeah. Um, Every flight has been full, so they've been full with only like one or two seats open, so yeah. And I will say the, thank you too, the baggage has increased, so they have so many bags. We had to like check bags our last flight, like, it's crazy. And then now like the bags are so big and I don't understand like how people are like overstuffing these bags, like, okay word to the wise or you know what just you know some flight attendant tips please 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 don't overstuff your carry-on bag i understand you know you want to be able to get off the plane and go you want to make sure you have everything with you don't overstuff your carry-on bag because one it's probably not going to fit in the overhead bin and it's going to have to get checked and two it is not the flight attendant's job nor responsibility to you know help you put that bag in the bin or put it in there for you most of us help out of the graciousness of our heart but if i get hurt putting the bag in that's it because we don't get paid during boarding, so it doesn't count. So that's why most of the time we watch you struggle with your bags and lend, you know, a gentle helping hand. Uh, but that's what's been going on. People have these big bags and they're super heavy. And I, I'm not lifting no heavy bags, I'm sorry. One more flight. One more flight. We're about to board and get the heck out of here. When I tell you, my feet hurt. Okay, so we made it to Fresno, and I'm just going to be honest, I've never been here before, and I want to explore, but I can't feel my toes at this point. Look, look at the beauty queen herself. really cute we're about to go get food because you know i like to eat and I'm be honest with you i really don't want to check my bank account to see how much money i've actually spent in food so if you learn anything from this vlog pack your food at least for one day and if you don't pack your food that's okay but just don't be eating everything like me because i don't know whose bank account is paying for it because mine most definitely is not but this hotel room is really cute and i only have about 15 minutes when i say i'm tired i'm tired but I choose food as like my number one. So we're gonna go get some food because you know I'm always hungry. Um, yeah, I really like this little body wave hair thing I got going on because then I don't gotta do it in the morning time besides wet it. I'm rambling. Five flights is exhausting, but I'm still cute though. And yeah, I think I might be losing my mind. But 
don't spend money on food. And I will say, I probably wouldn't have spent so much money on food if I packed food, but I ate all of my groceries, like all my groceries. And I haven't done that in a while because I haven't actually been home. But since I was home, my reserve blocks, I eat all my groceries. So now when I get home, I definitely gotta go grocery shopping and I only have one day off. So, bye. <laughs>